hello it's Sarah and I hope everyone had a lovely weekend I did manage to get to I went to AC Moore um, I've been playing with my fuse so I needed to get some some um, sequins I has had some and I was gifted some and um, but I needed a better way to store them and look what I did isn't this so beautiful <laughs> I just, and I mean, you know, I'm not the first one to put their sequins in one of these, but I found these at AC Moore, and um, I just put the different, I love pink, so I got pink and white. I'm into pink and orange right now. I don't have very many orange, but I have two so far. And this one's just like um, a big pack of flor different flower ones, and they're a bit bigger. Um, I think Jill gave me these butterflies. So I have, and I like this better because you can just open it. Hopefully I won't drop anything. And you can pull a few from each thing right away. It's not because I was working with bags and it was so uh, fumbly. Fumbly is my word <laughs> lately. But so that was awesome. And then I'm going to try and pick this up and show you over here. Um, it's not really coming in because of the window. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's like this storage thing there. See it? That is, I guess, 16, 24 little drawers. Um, that was $29.99 with regularly priced. But I had a coupon, so I got it for uh, I want to say 13, which is which would be good based on 29. Hours. So 15 is 50. I had a 55% off coupon. That's mainly why I went there. And the drawers are pretty big. They're like this big, and they have these dividers in there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I was thinking jewelry pieces. Uh, I mean, just any way to organize little things is because like I use. You know, I have these all over the place. I have my milk glass all over the place, like just with little piles of stuff in it. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I end up using it for. Um, so I got my sequins. Basically, that was it because, like I said, I've been playing with my fuse. Oh, I was looking for a template, some type of a template. I know um, Irene had one that she used for quilting uh, and... It was just that hard plastic so I was looking for that I didn't find that anywhere I didn't even find it at Joann's um, but what I did end up getting was these are just those little I think they're like a quarter each I got two different size hearts and I got this cookie cutter which I thought I could use for clay or if it didn't work out for this you know I could definitely use it for clay and I loved it the man in the moon um, 69 cents for that so I because I the first ones I did, like this is the first heart I did, and don't mind, this is, um, what is it called? Not Perfect Pearls, hold on. This one's actually an enamel, enamel accents by Ink Essentials. The black is, I didn't have a lot of colors, and then the rest of them are the um, liquid pearls, which this, these are awesome. Um, and I do have some scribbles that I used as well, but why I use that is because stickles did not stick. I put stickles around the edges, which I loved, um, but it just peeled right off. Like the next day when it was hard, it just peeled right off. So this is paint, and it's definitely staying on, and I love, I like, because you can't really tell the shape. Well, you can, but it's clear, you know? Um, this was the first one I did, and it's just kind of free form, um, and it was bumpy, and not real straight uh, but you cover that up when you put that uh, the liquid paint on there so that was good that was the first one and then I did just a square one and I was really kind of playing with what you could put in these pockets there's a couple of those enamel dots in there some bigger sequins these are just like little I don't even know they're I think Donna Dreams gave me those so I was just playing with different stuff you could put in here there's like a couple of flat back blings and to see what you, you know, so that was a simple shape. But then when I got my shapes, oh, I freeformed a cloud and I, I can't remember whose video it was that she totally did a cloud and I would love to give her credit because I didn't think of this, you know me. Um, but I put 
just kept it all white in there. I got, oh, I also bought these glitters at, I guess, Michael's. I went to both. Um, and then I pulled all my glitters. I have some recollections. Um, what are those? The little micro, here they are, the micro beads. I pulled everything that I had. I have the Martha Stewart sequins, or not sequins, um, chunky glitter. Um, just to see what was going to go in these. And then I love my heart, though. I love how this turned out. This is um, seed, I mean, these, the micro beads and this, which is called glitter glass, glass glitter. And this really holds up nicely in um, in a po uh, pocket, in a little pocket here. It doesn't, some of the, um, the, the fine glitter just makes it cloudy. Like it sticks to everything, which I was really disappointed in this red one because I had some really cool glitter in here. I mean, um, sequins and stuff and you can't really see them anymore. Like there's some bug sequins. And then when you put the fine glitter in, See, it just covers it and really kind of camouflages everything. So you don't want to put too fine of glitter. I love how he turned out. The Man on the Moon couldn't have turned out any better. Um, and this is just, I think I put some of this blue, which I had these too from when I used to do resin. I think I put a couple of these. I'm not sure. You know what? I might not have. I may have and I may not because I may have just put, this is like an iridescent glitz. And did I put, I might have put some silver too. I think I did. I think I just used these two in here. And look how freaking sparkly that is. That is so cool. Now, what I'm getting at, I know I'm taking a long time, which is fine. Um, so th then I did this flower and I just put some of the flower sequins in there. And I don't love this red. This red was on clearance, the Scribbles. Shiny bright red. It's more of like a, it's like an orangey red. I think yeah I mean it's a pretty color but I wasn't it wasn't red I wanted red um but see I put some of the little stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree they had these little nail art things these are little pretty sequins but I pretty much put a whole thing in there so you're not gonna be able to you know you're gonna run out so but there's some of them in there I have some of the Martha Stewart and some of the flowers oh look look at all the stars so pretty. I love these. I love, look at the sequins. Oh my gosh. Ta -da. Okay. They're so blingy. Uh, so what I was getting at, I'm, I've been playing with my fuse and to do these, I used this bit. I call it a bit tip, this tip. And I realized this because everyone's been showing their, um, they're using the rounded, the rolling one that's on my fuse right now. This one in a lot of the videos and until I saw um, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, she doesn't have the fuse so she doesn't have the round tip. She had some other tool like a wood burning tool or something. Another, um, that's really just a soldering iron um, and she was using her tip like this because they all come with this tip. Most of them do, this pointy tip. So what I did was I took like a piece of um, Actually, I was using these for the, all of these are made with the the nine um, pocket page, the nine pocket pages, and I just cut them out, cut one without the, breaking the seal. But so you have two pieces. See this heart? I could just kind of just fit it on there. The man in the moon fits fine. So I would just lay it down, put it on there, and hold it. And then take my fuse and go right up against cookie cutters work fantastic for this right up against and just leave a little piece open so cut all around it except for well you don't have to cut all around it because this cuts it out what i'm saying is that cuts and fuses at the same time you don't have to cut it out after i just mean cut the well the page would have been off sorry anyway fill up your pocket then place your um stencil or whatever you're using back on and just um, re uh, kind of finish that off and it seals it all up and then just make sure that you don't have any holes before you really go crazy with it um, but it was really easy and it was fun and I am thrilled I'm thrilled with he turned out super cute I mean can you imagine that on a project it's so super cute um, and I'm sure I'm gonna try a little smaller stuff I mean 
if you put smaller stuff inside your pocket, like you're not using the really super big sequins or anything, boy, nine minutes or however long, <coughs> goes by really fast. So the other thing I wanted to try was in my faux dory, I have two inserts that I bought from Midori. One is the file folder, and I did the tutorial for that already. And the other one is this plastic insert that has pockets in it that you can kind of hold, store some of your supplies, your planner supplies. So page flags and just different things, washi tape you can put. Um, so that was the other thing that I wanted to try. So um, I did manage to uh, get a few of those. Let's see, my stuff is all in a pile over here. I'm just gonna gently, okay. Um, I found a couple different things to try it with. I haven't used the regular page protectors that you just slip your page in from the top. I used, these are report covers. So there were only six in here, and I was thinking because they were a little bit sturdier plastic, that might be good, right? And luckily it works. It works really well with the Fuse because that wasn't the case with all the things I tried. Okay, so report covers, check. Now this is just, I think, from Walmart. See, walmart.com, made in China. Um, perfect. Okay, then the other thing I got were these index dividers and they're colored, so that's why I wanted to try them. Now, they're not folders, so there's only one length of plastic on there, so they were a bit smaller. Still managed to do that, okay. So here's, I have one left of those. Basically, it has three holes here and a little tab at the top, and then it's just colored, okay. The, 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 um, let's see. First, I wanna show you this one. So this one I made with the, um, this, the uh, report cover, <clears throat> excuse me. And what's nice about it is you have double length of, so you open it and look, you have all that room, see? So you can start with your fold and then that's what I do actually. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna come back and do a tutorial for these because it's just so simple. So you open it out and then you just basically, um, Fold. Actually, I scored, and scoring is a little tricky with these uh, because plastic wants to shift when you're going down your um, scoreboard. It shifts, so you might not get a, the straightest line. But you just, I think it's four and a quarter, and you fold that end over. I cut a little bit off. There's a little bit of waste. And then you just fuse one, two, three, four on each side. Now, the only difference is the... Um, the Midori one has pockets on both sides. And I mean, I guess you could take a piece of scrap and do it again. I'm not sure. I haven't ever fused back to back. Um, or maybe even try three layers at one time. You would just clip it on like, or washi tape it on. That's what I was doing, washing it on. But I haven't tried that yet. But don't, don't um, be afraid to try because this, this worked fantastic. So with the rolling... Bit, the one that's on here. That's what I just fused the pockets with. You don't need to cut anything, so I took the pointy bit out, and then all I did was just cut little V's right here for your little grabby thing, because it's hard to use um, paper punches on plastic. It just doesn't want to work, and I put double-sided paper in here, and then I cut a little notch, just a little tiny V off the top, so when you put it in your Midori, it doesn't, like, rip or pull at the end because your little um, elastic band goes through there. So I was really, really pleased about that. I made, um, then the other one I made in that, because of course I wanted to play with the colors, <clears throat> I messed this one up. I actually cut it too wide or in, in some way, I mean, I think it might have fit in my extra wide dory, but for some reason, I don't know, I cut it, so I cut it in half and just welded over the overlapping sides. I just went like this to get it shorter, and I just, I saved it that way. I'm not thrilled with it, but I was just playing. At that point, I hadn't really used the um, bit that much, or I keep calling it a bit, the tip. Um, anyway, so I did manage to save it, but this is what the colored ones look like, and I was pretty happy with these, because the only thing, like I said, it's it's shorter. So, and I cut off the, the holes, and I cut off the tab, and it's the perfect length, so that worked out great. 
but the first thing you do, I'm going to do, I'll do a tutorial for this one because it's, well, I just love this one and it's super easy to do. <laughs> um, but you just uh, score at, and this one actually scores nicely. This kind of plastic scored really nicely. So you score it four and a quarter and then whatever, and then you score it four and a quarter, well, going this way on this side and flip this up and this is your pockets on this side. So on this side you have purple pockets and you just fuse, fuse four times. You know, I mean, just, I measured it out to approximately, I don't think these are exactly two and a half. They're definitely not two and a half. These might be, and then this one's not. And then on this side, I took a piece of the scrap from what I cut off of this one and cut it down to the size, just washied it on there to hold it in place, and then just fuse that on. So this side has clear pockets. So a little, I changed it up a little bit. And I love how they turned out. So to add a little color to your Midori, and I was definitely thinking I don't have it here, my fabric, my Fabridoris or whatever. Um, before I do the tutorial, I'll show you this inside that because the purple one especially would fit in one of my fabric ones. I think like the green and the yellow would fit. Oh, I think my phone's ringing. I don't know where it is. Oh, it is. I just missed a call. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then this is this red would even look good in one of mine. So I mean, they're not. I'm more pastel girl than a um, than these colors. I have the blue left. I'll do a tutorial for that. And then of course I had to show you this. I actually did a smaller one. So I already did the tutorial for your little uh, file folder. But this one is for your little Midori. This one, the faux Dory that I have. And I put one in here, and this it just has a couple clips in here. I just threw them in real quick last night. But it fits perfectly in your, um, this one is five and a half. Really, it's based on, these are the little notebooks that I found at Staples. These were two for a dollar. Um, and so this whole thing started with these little notebooks. When I saw these, I thought, oh, okay. Because this is... A, this piece of leather is from a sheet of eight and a half by eleven, and if you cut it in half, it's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's perfect for a little, um, a little faux dory. So I absolutely love the size of this one. I haven't used it. I've been using my bigger one for the listers got a list, but I think this one would be my go-to. Um, and it's starting to get a little full. Like I actually have a lot of books in here. I think I have four notebooks and two inserts. So <clears throat> it starts to come out at the end. Like that's why people like making the faux dories because the Midori is only one size. It doesn't come in an extra long type thing. Anyway, let me just get to what I want. I want to finish this and then I'll do the tutorial. Um, so I did these the very same way. You just cut these to, um, let me see if there's one with stuff in it. This one has stuff in it. You cut it the same way um, as this one. See, so this is half a sheet of that. So I, you make it five and a quarter, I'm pretty sure, however big this is. Yeah, five and a quarter. And then you score in at three and a half. And then you fold this back and you would make your pockets out of both of these sides, but just cut it a little shorter. So that worked out really well. The one thing that did not work out, and I was super disappointed. I actually made this video yesterday, and I was so disappointed I couldn't post it. It was too miserable. <laughs> um, a couple things. Uh, Birdie had gifted me these um, vellum. I don't know what type of plastic this is. And, you know, I mean, it seems like it's very close. It's not any thicker that I can tell but it must be coated with something or something. I don't know what happened here. I gotta go away again, oh my God. Um, I also have these pieces, which I was so excited when I found these. So I have these pieces of vellum and I'm not sure what you would use them for, but when I saw them, they're the perfect size for the little ones. I folded it in half and I had to cut a tiny smidge off the end, right? I went to use my fuse with these. I was just gonna take this and then put a piece of clear on each side for the pockets. For this one, I, that's what I was gonna do for these. Well, where is it? Okay, here's the one that I was gonna use 
with birdies, okay? So I have this, and I have her piece cut to the pocket size, right? It would not fuse. I don't, this, is, this isn't this is even the one that I really, I worked it. I went back like three, four, five times, and it just kept coming off and coming off and coming off. It would not fuse, and my, my, my fuse was plenty hot. I mean, and then I would just take a regular piece of plastic and psh, it would go right down, no problem. So very disappointed. I was very disappointed yesterday. Um, but I did end up sewing these. I made these. I don't love it with the sewing, but it works. You know, if for those of you who have a sewing machine but don't have the fuse, you could absolutely take your plastic, and it's a little more, you know, just, just make sure it's washing in place. Um, so I did that one, and I did this one. And this is like a stiffer plastic. It's not as pliable. Like, it doesn't move like this one. This one just moves. It opens and closes. So, I mean, I was hoping to use, you know, Birdie gave me so many of those. I thought, wow, that's super cute, you know. I mean, I don't know what it would have looked like back to back, actually. Um... But to close, once you put things in it, it would be super cute. You know, just to look at it like that's kind of, you know, not as cute. But, um, yeah. So this is a little less flexible. I don't know. Something, any of you who have may have tried this, let me know what you've discovered. But like this, I mean, I wanted to use this for a pocket, you know, on a clear one. And... It did not work. It just, it no matter how, what I did, I was so frustrated. Yesterday, I made this tutorial. I actually ripped this in half. That's what happened. This is the one that I like worked and worked and worked and kept going. Look, I mean, it just, anyway, this is a long enough video anyway, but super disappointed because, I mean, I found those in my stash. I think I had them in my pile with, um, junk journal stuff. I was just going to punch holes and use them for, I mean, you could actually just use that for your, um, what do people call it? A dashboard. You know what I mean? If, if you just had, I don't know where the other ones are now. Um, <clears throat> like I have these plain ones. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe just not even fuse them together. Like even just tape them together somehow, you know, um, and just have this as your dashboard would be super cute too. So, uh, disappointing, but not the end of the world. I did manage to make quite a few of these, and I will come back in a minute, and I'll show you how I did that. It's very, very simple. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to make it a separate video. So, um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.